Astros hosting the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are plus 130 on the money line. The Astros are minus 162. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 152, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. This seems rather low for a Verlander kind of game, especially with him at home. So if you want to bet this game and you want to bet the Astros, you know, you may want to take advice and do it overnight. Now, like I said, those are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Hauk pitched twice against the Astros last year, both games in relief. One inning, no runs, no earn. They won that game three to two. It was in Houston. He struck out one, one and two thirds, no runs, no earn. They won that game two to one. Also in Boston, he didn't strike anyone out. The Red Sox are three and seven as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched in 4.9 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five starts, the Red Sox are one and four. He's got an ERA of 2.4 and he's averaging five innings pitched in those games. The under is four and one in those five games. One earned run, two strikeouts, no home runs, 59 pitches. Two earned runs, six strikeouts, two home runs, 93 pitches. Uh, four earned runs, six strikeouts, no home runs, 92 pitches. Four earned runs, four strikeouts, two home runs, 76 pitches. And then one earned run, eight strikeouts, no home runs, and 83 pitches. For the Astros, they're two and one in Verlander's three starts back. He didn't pitch against the Red Sox, ironically enough, last year. Um, he's averaging six innings pitched in 4.3 strikeouts per game in the three games back. The over has hit in his last two games back, and the the under is three and two in his last five. Uh, four earned runs, two strikeouts, no home runs, 94 pitches. Three earned runs, seven strikeouts, one home run, 95 pitches. Two earned runs, four strikeouts, one home run, 97 pitches. That's his last three appearances back with the Astros. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Astros are on a two-game winning streak. The Astros are 6-4 and four against the Red Sox in their last 10. The favorites on a two-game winning streak. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over-under at 8.5 runs is 5-5. Five and five. The Astros won today, 9-4. to four. It was a close game until it wasn't. And then the game before that, the Astros won 6-1, to one, but this is the first appearance that they had against each other this year. The Red Sox are 7-3 and three in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4, and the under is 6-4 in their last 10. However, the over has hit in their last 4 games, sweeping the Yankees 8-3, 8-1, 6-5, and then losing today to the Astros 9-4. to four. For the Astros, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10. The over is hit in their last three games. Losing to the Mariners 2-0, 10-3, 7-6, and then beating the Red Sox 9-4. to four. And I should have listened to you guys in the comments section because, uh, yeah, I, I bet on the wrong horse in that one. Astros with the money line. Astros laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.